18, a you is a reward or a test. Tell your neighbor, everything in me is a reward or a test. Tell your neighbor again. I can hear you. I can hear you. Mean everything in your life, say everything in my life is a reward or a test. What, what do I mean? Jesus always uses your situation, but we don't know. This is something I listen to preaching, teaching of what many teaching of many preaching. They say Christian cannot seek, Christian cannot poor, Christian cannot do. No, our own sickness is not like other. Our own trouble is not like other. We can have trouble, but our own is not like other. Other to destroy them, other as a result of their sin, but our own is not as a result of our sin. You as a Christian, when, when you have a pain or trouble, whatever trouble you have, it may be to preserve you for the journey ahead. Or to strengthen your desire for God. Or to stop you away in order to prepare you for the journey ahead. So it could be sickness. That can be sickness, can be poverty, can be pain, can be this, can be this, oh, loneliness, can be barrenness, can be just nature, any foolish thing can be used. Jesus of, often uses our situation to qualify us for a blessing. Tell your neighbor, Jesus often uses our situation to qualify us for a blessing. I can hear you. I can hear you. So I mean, you can see. But your sickness is not like other. Whatever name you call your sickness, it could be cancer, it could be this, it could be that, it could be whatever. Sickness is sickness. As a Christian, you can be sick. But your sickness is not like other. If you are a sickness, if you are a Christian and you are sick, that sickness will be used to qualify you for a promotion. Amen. So there is nothing to pick up about. Many Christians today, when they are sick, they begin to murmur. They begin to ask themselves, Ah, is, it, is that not because of my sin? God cannot hear my prayer. I'm not a Christian. A lot of things keep going in my mind. That affects their relationship. Many, many, many abandon their posts just because of this. Because you are a, sick, you are a, a Christian, does not mean you cannot <laughs> seek. You cannot face challenge. Whatever challenge you are facing. If you are dealing with a problem, your problem could be sickness, could be poverty, could be whatever. Always remember, see it as an opportunity for showing order. For what? For showing order that God brings good out of bad circumstances. See it as an opportunity for showing order that God brings good out of bad situation. Tell your neighbor, see it, only see it as an opportunity, as an opportunity, as an opportunity. That God, 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 opportunity of showing others that God, that God brings out, brings good out of bad situation. That is it. That means there is healing. 
there's good health in sickness. This means there's blessing in poverty. This means there's an appointment in disappointment. As a Christian, if you are dealing with a situation, always see it as an opportunity for train order that God brings good out of bad circumstances. But today, as a Christian, when you are dealing with crisis, I mean, I mean, people don't even see themselves as a Christian again. Once the crisis comes, if I'm talking, let us see your hand. I say this is what is happening. And people no longer see themselves as a Christian. People no longer see themselves as a friend of God. <laughs> Just like what happened to Job and his wife. They don't no longer see themselves as a, tr as a true Christian. They no longer see themselves. Once trouble comes, they thought, ah, Am I a Christian? That is the question. Am I a child of God? I go to church 24 hours, look at my friend that's more, that do all sorts of things. It's looking good, but me, I, I live right. I, I'm facing this. A lot of things keep going, 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 keep disturb, keep, keep trouble your spirit. Keep trouble your spirit. Keep trouble your spirit. Ah, what is happening? Am I really a Christian? Ah, can this be... What is happening? You begin to think, ah, maybe because of the man I hit yesterday. Oh, maybe because of... Uh, ah, because, uh, I don't know, because... <laughs> I don't know, because... What, what will, ah, maybe, I don't know. Oh no, this is as a sort of my sin. Oh, I have sinned. Ah, will I? But I don't know what I have done. I me, mean, I'm not a Christian. I'm not a friend of God. God is not faithful to me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be faithful to Him. I've stopped this. I've stopped that. I've stopped all this nonsense. But this still happened. Even when I was doing all the rubbish, all this will not happen to me. A lot of things keep going. If you, as a Christian, Take note of that as a Christian, if you are dealing with a trouble, with a circumstance, a, with a, a situation, always see it as an opportunity for showing others that God brings good out of bad what? Good hell out of what? Sickness. Good out of war. Blessing out of war. Fruitness out of war. Light out of war. So that is it. That should be your position now. That should be your position. So don't because of what you are facing begin to say I'm not a Christian. Why should maybe you are listening to some message that say Christian doesn't seek. We don't seek. Why you don't see? You can't keep yourself. You have a dick. I have a dick. I have some running. I have pain. I have wound. Maybe they may call it diabetes. Scientists must have name for it. But what they don't have name for, the outcome. Because the same diabetes that a sister have, if two people have diabetes, the same medicine you give to two of them. One may be cured, other will continue increasing. So the doctor will say, ah, it's diabetes, the whole thing come out to be diabetes by test. Now the same prescription tablet given to them, treatment given to them. One is here, the other increasing. This shows that this one is not a sickness, it's a case. 
why the other is a sickness. Curse, that is C U R S E. And when something is a curse, no scientist can cure it. Yes, scientists can cure sickness, but they cannot cure curse. Curse. curse can only be cured by Jesus Christ. Treatment can can be a solution to sickness. Treatment, but healing puts solution to what? Curse. This is why we say, doctor heals, God doctor treats, God heals. Are you with me? So I'm not here to, to preach, but to encourage you. Because the wise man has given you word of God, wonderful one. But just to give you, to encourage you, because I know what you are going, what is bothering you, the trouble you are having. So I, I think if just little encouragement has answered some of your question, let me see your hand. Some of your question. Thank you very much. So we continue. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. This means you can see and yet be a friend of God. A man can seek in body yet a candidate of heaven. Tell your neighbor, a man can be sick in body. A man can be poor. I can hear you. Yet be a friend of God, a candidate of heaven. Yes. Yes, that's it. Don't let your situation mislead you. Tell your neighbor, don't let your situation mislead you. I can hear you. I can hear you. You know, it's our situation that mislead us today. When you see somebody, just look around. If there's any of your friend you used to see sitting down very close to you in the church, but today it's not around. If by the time you ask him why you are not around, he say there is no petrol to the van, <laughs> and he has forgotten that at the beginning he has no vehicle. He had no what, no car, no vehicle, and uh, then he was punctual in the church, regular. But now he ha there is no petrol. Some might have some. Of reason when I meet them, Uncle, I always see you in the church. What of your family, your children? I say uh, their car has some little fault. He has to use the little golf, and the golf cannot carry the whole family. I say, okay, well done, well done. So golf, it's a it's a crime now for God to answer your blessing. It's a crime. It has become a crime. Now, before now, you have nothing. And you were coming with your family, attending the church regularly. Now, your God has answered you, giving you Jeep, giving you uh, Pajero, giving you Lexus Jeep. Hamburgers, I'm a Jeep. Now, it's now become a crime. It's now become a crime. So can you see the reason why some of our miracle delay? Sometimes you ask God, God give me biscuit, give me, give me the God to give you. But sometimes you will want to strengthen your desire and your determination. He want to build your relationship so that when he give you this, you will not want to leave him. If I'm talking to you, let us see on. Say, ah, you, you told you, that kind of love, relationship, matter. 
Christianity is a relationship. Christianity is what? It's a relationship. It's a relationship. He wants to strengthen this, strengthen and make sure when you are now receiving everything you want, you will not want to leave him. Because you know it's all about, it's not, uh, that miracle is, 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 is not the end, but the means. Tell your neighbor, it's not the end, but the means to an end. That miracle. That miracle is not the end, but the means to an end. So you want to make sure your the desire is okay, your love, strengthen your desire, I mean. And you begin to say, ah, why this is delay? Look at the brother there. God has answered, this is pretty, this and that and that and that and that and that. At the end of the day, by the time he realizes you know, that you are okay now, he will not give you. This is why we call it mother of miracle. The miracle that will remain permanent. Because you have built this relationship. 